All right, guys, I'm down in a big space again. Some of these big is going to go here. If you haven't saw my first video on 300 gallon aquarium that I brought on Facebook Marketplace, you'll see that I'm going through a lot of process of getting this 300 gallon tank up and running. First thing is I went to Marketplace. I saw a great deal. Um, this guy was trying to get rid of this aquarium. It came with a stand. It came with a sump. I'm like, great. This is exactly what I need. What I didn't know is that, one, it had 14 bulkheads, which I didn't know the guy actually silicone them all together. Okay. Also, I didn't know is the stand was pretty much put together piecemeal. What I mean by piecemeal is that if you're a 30 inch piece, 24 inches was a solid piece, and then another six inches was a piece kind of fab together. So it wasn't a really solid uh, stand. Um, so I'm going to have to probably re redo a brand new stand, which would be on another video of mine. But today's video is just that be careful about buying things on Facebook Marketplace. I thought I did my research and still, it was a pain in the ass. That's just the bottom line on this tank. However, I finally got it up and running. And uh, you guys are going to see after I merge all the videos together. This is just an introduction to all the videos is that I was able to get the bulkheads finally tight. They're not leaking. I'm doing a second water test as I speak right now to get the tank up and running because I don't want 300 gallons on the floor. And I don't want, obviously, once it's up on the stand to actually try to put the tank together. So I put the tank on the outside. I'm doing a second water test on the tank itself and to see if these bulkheads hold. I mean, the seals have hold, so it's a good thing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge everything together so you guys can see actually how I did it, how it's going. And that'll be my second stage, third stage, which I'll shoot in a later video, which will be getting the stand built. The piece of crap stand that I got on Facebook is not going to work. So we're going to see all the film coming in. You're probably going to see me wearing a different shirt and multiple videos. But I had to do a course of several days. You know, I, I do work like everybody else does. And this is my hobby. And I shoot me videos. It is also my hobby, what I enjoy. But definitely I'm going to um, show you guys how it's going to work. So take a look. Okay, guys. You always wire test your tank. So I filled the tank up about... Uh, about right there a couple of days ago using old aquarium water and today I filled it all the way to the top and guess what that bulkhead is leaking that bulkhead is leaking that bulkhead is leaking and that bulkhead is leaking so so far we got water tape is one two three four five bulkheads are leaking so Again, when everybody uses equipment online, don't trust what they say when they say nothing's leaking, everything's fine, because you can see all the bulkheads are leaking right here, at least the bigger ones. So I'm going to replace all the bulkheads. What the person did is if you go down inside, they replaced it with some kind of weird silicone there on a the bulkhead. I don't know why they did that, hoping to seal it, but that's a cheap way to do it. What you actually want to do is buy a plug and remove the whole bulkhead, bulkhead and actually seal it that way. That's a proper way. Using silicone to seal bulkheads is a cheap and inadequate way to seal a bulkhead on a tank. So again, water test, water test, because look what's happened to me. I got tank leaking already. Good thing though is there's no seals leaking. So the tank's not leaking on the top or the bottom, anywhere on there. So as you guys probably noticed in my last video, this bulkhead there, the, I removed one, so I needed to get the measurements there. The third bulkhead there, and the fourth bulkhead there, both, as you guys see right now, last video were leaking. So, what I have done is I have gotten, so these bulkheads right now are two and three quarters in diameter. And unfortunately, I can't find a bulkhead for that specific thing. What I mean by that is that I want to do it properly. The guy that owned the aquarium, as you guys can see right there, silicone. And look, it's already leaking. So what I want to do is buy a bulkhead, which I'm going to show you right now. So this is what I want to show you. So the bulkhead I want to get was the kind with the plugs here. So pretty much, as you guys can see, no silicone required like he did on the cheap bulkheads there. Uh, but the problem being with these bulkheads is these are three inches. And the bulkheads on the aquarium are two and three quarters. So what I'm going to have to do is use a hole saw which I have here to actually make the bulkhead bigger so it can accommodate these three inch bulkheads here. So you guys can see me right now in this video testing two of them. So I'm going to do it on this one and this one. So you know you can make a hole bigger 
but you can't make it smaller. So I'm gonna do these two bulkheads that I got in my local hardwood store using the whole saw. Obviously I gotta mark it off first and I'm sure you guys what's gonna happen, so stay tuned for more. The bulkhead itself to expand the hole, I went ahead and, and I measured the hole first using a black marker. Probably wasn't the best thing to do, but um, as you guys do see, I am a novice in doing this. So even though you do as much research as you can on YouTube or Facebook or Ask Friends or anybody, once you get hands on, that's where it starts. So in this video, I'm actually measuring um, the size. It's pretty funny in this video where I actually try to cut the hole itself. So I never used a hole saw before and I thought it'd be an easy project, just whiten the hole on the fish tank from 2.75 to three inches. And you can see in the video, the hole saw was jumping around and it just is not biting. So from getting an, an education and crash or crash course in actually doing an hole saw, what it is, is if you already have a drilled hole, the best thing to do is have a piece of wood or something behind the hole saw, the whiten hole saw itself. And Obviously, I use a hole saw in the first round. I'll show you the second round later. But in the first round of actually drilling this tank, and you can see it's jumped around like a snake. It's it's not that great. It's difficult. Uh, you know, I'm scared about scratching the acrylic. And one thing to realize in this acrylic is three fourths, so three quarters inch thick. So it's a really thick acrylic. So you can see how funny it is using hole saw for the first time. All right, guys, I'm about to begin, like I said, an earlier video replacing the bulkhead. So I wanna point out one thing, I made a mistake. So if you see here, the teeth on this thing, is a little sharp and I didn't know, cause I'm, I'm completely novice, obviously for sure. This is for wood. So I thought I Googled the right thing and it didn't work out, so this is wood. And that's not good for acrylic, so do not use this on acrylic, use it on wood. Good thing about that, did not damage my tank go out and get some carbide grit so if you notice it's a little bit more different it's really good for you know drilling steel anything else but no teeth right so it doesn't jump around when you saw i will show you guys a quick video right now you see right now the saw is jumping around it's not good so i learned my lesson on that so i get one of these granite carbide bits you can find at Lowe's, some depot amazon local hardware store so second attempt at drilling this using the better bits so let's see what happens Again, this is my second attempt at uh, drilling this hole from 2.75 to 3 quarters uh, inch in diameter. And I thought the hole saw was the issue, and I went out and got a carbide bit, and the same thing applied. Uh, this the hole saw is jumping around. It's, it's become difficult. Actually, I went at an angle, and I actually drew, was able to drill at an angle and at least create a portion where the tank or the acrylic was able to bite on something. And because it's three quarter inch thick, um, what started happening is my drill actually started to malfunction and, and lose power. And um, I actually stopped then and um, I was able to say, wait a minute, let me stop. Let me get a more powerful drill. And I will show you later on in my upcoming videos how I got went to uh, my local hardware store called Hardware's, Hardware Sales. And I was actually able to get a much more powerful drill and um, you know, drill through the hole. You probably see that in later videos, drilling through the hole, which was much better. But same same thing applies is uh, you try and expand the hole, get something behind it, a piece of wood or something for the drill bit to actually bite into. This is my third attempt drilling through a three quarter inch or three four stick acrylic aquarium. And if you go to your local hardware store, which is in your local area, they able to rent actual drills itself. So instead of buying a drill, I was able to rent a drill for 25 bucks for four hours on my lunch break drilling through this hole. What I was able to do is use a carbide bit and puncture through the hole within about maybe a few minutes to get through there, taking my time. Once I was able to puncture through the hole, actually increase the size of the hole, I was able to use the bulkhead with an end cap on the front to seal the aquarium, which is totally fine. The thing people don't need to know about uh, bulkheads and actually uh, end caps is one, you got to buy the bulkhead, then buy end cap and put some uh, threading on it. So that way it seals. In addition to that, they reverse threaded. So you have to turn the opposite direction to reverse thread and seal the bulkhead itself. So now I'm gonna do another water test and remove the bulkheads my next video. All right, guys, after two days of going back and forth between Ace Hardware and Hardware Sales and Home Depot and Lowe's, guess what? I finally have the bulkhead on. So as you can see, 
I have just the camera here. I have put a three inch bulkhead on here versus the two and three quarters bulkhead there. And obviously you can see right in there still, it has that kind of uh, silicone. So I'm gonna do it the right way. A lot of trial, a lot of tribulations, but it is on. I'm gonna do a quick water test and make sure the bulkhead holds. And guess what? It is on. I'm finally done and I'm happy. This is one of four. But I know through now, guys, and thanks for listening. And don't forget to subscribe, like my channel, listen to more how to do's or DIYs on a novice trying to figure it out as I go. And thanks for listening. Guys, here's a quick update. So I replaced two, three, four bulkheads on the new aquarium. So what I did is I ended up going to Amazon, which I'll put a link below. It's getting a 2.5 inch bulkhead in which it was able to fit in that 2.5 inch hole. I silicone the inside so no water comes out obviously. And uh, if you look there, look there, look there, and look there, water is not leaking. So water's hold, it is a little drip there that is coming in. So I'm gonna probably open this up and you can see right there, I wiped it and put some more silicone, but that's the only hole that I actually drill. And you guys can see a couple of videos right here, me drilling the hole with a pain in the ass, drilling the hole, but I was able to find a solution. Next one to fix is that one there, which is still leaking, but overall, if I open the tank up, water's holding. Overall, it's working. So I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited the bulkheads are finished. And you can see, with the exception of one which is there and one there, we're almost there. All right, just a quick update. So I just showed you right now, a 300 is now fully water testing. I replaced all the bulkheads that were actually leaking. So the best thing to do whenever you buy something used online, do your research, know what you're gonna buy, take a look at it. When you get there, you can say no if you don't know what you're doing or ask for help. But in my case, I spent time going to Ace Hardware, Hardware Sales, Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon. Thank God for Amazon as far as having a good return policy, but it was really hard getting everything actually work out. So I persevered, I got it working, and I'll keep give you guys updates as I complete 300, because the next thing is replace the bulkheads leaking, do another water test again, build the actual uh, stand, because it came with a crappy stand, so build a new stand, and I'm gonna show you guys how to build a new stand and how to do a DIY sump. So everything's coming in. So like, subscribe, take a look at your novice, well, fish enthusiast, mental health coach to be therapist, actually doing the work, persevering, and figuring out as I go. So that's it, guys. So thanks for listening. Stage one is pretty much complete. So I was able to replace the bulkhead there. What I did actually in this case, I could not find a cap that size. So I was able to silicone the bulkhead. It has not leaked. Obviously I replaced that one. I drew up the hole there. I'll show you guys a couple of videos there. I replaced that bulkhead and lift this up and I replaced that bulkhead. So what I've done is that I filled in with silicone. They have not leaked. So that's the way around that is filling the holes with silicone. Not the way I would have done it. I would have capped it off, but finding holes that 2.75 inch uh, is very difficult. It's just a special size there. So, and as you can see over here, I drilled the hole to make it bigger. I did not want to do that. And there's a little water dripping there. So I'm open this up, re-silicone that. So step inside here. You can see I'm draining all the water out because it has passed one week water testing. So 300 gallons is draining out from here and all the way in the backyard down there. So just to walk you guys here, let's walk outside. Good thing I have a pump system and a hose because all the water is actually draining here down below, water on my plant. So it's a lot of water coming out and water here. So this is a 50 fit, foot hose, one inch long, what uh, 2000 gallon per hour pump, pumping water out the tank. So water testing is done and there it is guys so stay tuned for more videos okay guys well i'm back here now i'm gonna give you a view of what i'm actually going to do so if you noticed in a previous video that i picked up a bulkhead here and i removed it from here so here is where it started and here was on the front the reason why i removed the bulkhead is that 
for one to stick out. So it means that fish, if I put it back on, can swim in and get cut and especially get hit on these sharp edges. So I don't want that actually happening. So I remove these pieces. And as I said before, the bulk is a 1.5 inches, which is an oddball size. What the guy did previously is he silicone the bulkhead itself. You see silicone there. And obviously, if you look around here, there's PVC. So this tank had an enormous something running. There's four big bulkheads and then these small 1.5. You can see right here. Let me just get close to the camera so you guys can see it. There we go. You actually silicone it inside. So you see my table laid out here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to slightly inside here silicone it itself. Then I'm going to put a cap on top, and obviously I could paint it. I'm not going to do that. So pretty much insert the silicone here up until, you guys probably can't see, but there's an area that's smooth. I'm going to take some wrenches and kind of cut it down so you guys can see it. So here we go. So all right, I got my silicone gun here. I'm going to just put a dab of silicone inside itself, kind of go around in circles. So this kind of covers up the bulkhead itself, and that should be is good enough there. Oh, that came out, and that's not going to work. Put that to the side. I'm going to now take my, my piece here, which is the plug, which is perfect. Fits right inside itself. As you guys can see, I'm a wrench here, and I'm going to pretty much hold it and tighten it all the way down itself. So that way just in case no water leaks out itself and i'm going to be good to go so once i can get it kind of tight enough not hurt my hands i'm going to actually be good enough so that's pretty much about it so it's down there also i'm going to do here is take the old gasket off put it to a side grab some fresh gaskets and put it on the bulkhead itself all the way down make sure it's nice and tight and uh, that's it. So this is going to go on the in outside, sorry, inside. This is going to go on the outside, and that's how I'm going to pass it on. So I'm going to show you guys later on what it's actually going to look like. But I got now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to go, and that's how I'm going to finish these bulkheads. Okay, guys, so I finished siliconing and capping all the bulkheads I have. A washer, it's not washers, but all the, um, wa yes, washers are replaced. And I'm going to now put on a tank and get ready for another water test. Um, all the new bulkheads with caps replaced. Um, some of them were hard to get down, but that's completely fine. I just want to make sure no water leaks inside. So I silicone inside the bulkhead itself. And now the cap is on. So I am ready to put on a tank and start water testing again. So let's see what happens. At this point right now, I have um, replaced all the bulkheads, which I mean is that I have my silicone inside, capped it off. Uh, the previous owner of this tank, what I think they did is they custom made this tank for a saltwater aquarium. So they had four large inlet bulkheads and 15 ones that drain out through the tank. So this probably was a massive tank for a reef aquarium. And the guy before, the guy that purchased from probably turned it into a freshwater tank. and you know, what along the lines of pretty much silicone and bulkheads and not replacing them with caps. So in my case, I had to replace all the bulkheads with caps, silicone, and make sure it's watertight. As I said in my previous video, these bulkheads were odd size, 1.5 inches, which is not your typical size. So I searched on Amazon, Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace, Hardware Sales, and then the place that we actually supply these bulkheads, and they were pretty much, in a nutshell, difficult to find. So I pretty much used a DIY version of taking the bulkheads off, putting silicone inside and resealing them, and now I replace them. And for about the third time, I'm actually going to water test this tank. And after I water test it, it's time to start building the sand. As you can see in the background of this video, there's a tarp covering the old stand, which is pretty much not in the order I want. So I'm going to start very fresh and brand new. So I look forward to next phase's operation to get the 300 gallon tank up and running and ups and downs of buying things in the marketplace. Woo! <laughs>